Now, it's hard to explain to people that have a brand new motorcycle or they've only ridden for uh, maybe 50 or 60 years. <laughs> it's hard to explain them the relationship you have with a motorcycle you've owned for 40 years and 76,000 miles. And I've had different body work on it, different sets of wheels, different brakes, different. I even have a, from the parts bike a whole set of body work. But the relationship you have every time you go out to the garage and pre-flight it and check it out and make sure that everything's, uh, you know, an old machine. It's not like riding a brand new bike. But but that's the charm. That's the adventure. And if you can find a friend like I have in Joe Padula who's got the exact same bike, when we get together with these bikes, it's really a lot of fun. Now, our friendly weatherman predicted absolutely perfect fall weather today. Zero chance of rain. Every chance in the world we're going to see some colorful, beautiful leaves, and we're going to have a great time out on the open road. So until I hit the, uh, the lottery and get a bigger garage or an extension put on or put the bikes in a fish pond or something, I always have this adventure. Every time I want to ride, it seems like the bikes have to be moved around. I'm not sure why. I feel like I work on a railroad or something. The caboose is always on the front of the train or something. But anyway, I always like to look at the bikes, the, the more modern bikes, but these classic bikes with the engine exposed and everything polished up, I don't know. But but they are maintenance intensive and keeping them running like a brand new Rolex watch, it's a labor of love. And I like to pre-flight them. I like to check the tires. I, I do a lot of checks on things every time I ride the bike. Check the chain. Check, and I have caught things that were loose with things that could be a potential problem out on the road. And I always think the two or three minutes it takes to do this, time well spent, it's a great investment in, in enjoying the ride because as I'm out riding, it, it's like if you think you're gonna run out of gas, it, it takes all the fun out of the ride. And, and I wanna enjoy the ride. Anybody hungry this morning? I don't think so. Never hungry, right? So and today we're making, fresh from our garden, eggplant french fries in a new wave cooker. As it's preheating, these are really delicious too, and healthy. Now, what can be better than going through the gears on a GS1100, beautiful low-end torque, predictable power band, sweet, sweet motorcycle. We are in that part of the year, we're in this part of the country, every day it gets more scenic than the day before. The yellow turns to orange, the orange turns to red, the leaves are starting to fall. It's just beautifully nice and cool right now. It's actually a little bit chilly. Every day gets nicer.
than the day before. I have to admit, this bike really loves these backwood sections. <laughs> it just seems as comfortable as can be. The twistier it gets and the slipperier it gets, it likes it better. Now this is the bridge that used to go to the Circle Burner Field. They've replaced it with a new modern road, but boy, what memories. I'll bet I've crossed that bridge a couple thousand times in my lifetime. think this is one of the bikes that no matter what angle you look at it from the front the back the side you crawl in a ditch or you go by in a drone every angle of this bike is is a piece of artwork to me it is really I think one of the prettiest bikes that's ever been designed And going in, in and out of the sunlight, into the shadows, into the sunlight, it, it is just so mesmerizing. It's like, it's just like a special time of year right now. And I try to, try, I'm going to try to ride it every day I can. most convenient features of the whole bike is being able to get 45 miles a gallon and being able to fill up the tank once a day and have 200 miles of range. That is convenient. And I remember when the bike was first new and they were reviewing it in the magazine and they said the one thing the bike has, it's got the most comfortable seat in motorcycling. And as 40 years have gone by, I tend to agree, really agree. And think 40 years ago I bought this bike brand new from Westwood Suzuki and if if I could have at that point in time kind of looked in a crystal ball and seen uh, where we are today and how the world has evolved and changed but the Suzuki hasn't changed
thank you, Joe Padula, for donating the, uh, the steel brake lines. And thank you, Pokey, for donating the EBC discs. They have worked out to be really a good combination. And the beautiful thing about that engine is it's so bulletproof, it's so easy to work on, easy to get to, easy to change plugs, adjust valves, oil changes. It's, it's beautiful. And as I always think, uh, at some point in every ride, I think, where did the years go? Where did every one of my bikes is getting older and older? Even the brand new MT-09 is over two years old. Where does the time go? That, that's the question of the day. Where does it go? done a lot of work to maintain this bike and keep it as, as mechanically correct as I can and the paint work on it the polishing and a day like today it's it just really floats my boat to take a ride on it And it's just been a super, super nice weather-wise day. Uh, the GS, I don't know what to say. It, it just is such a beautiful motorcycle to look at, a comfortable bike to ride, <laughs> smooth linear power, and, and add, a, add that into 76,000 really enjoyable miles over 40 years. I don't know what more you could expect from any motorcycle. All 76,000 miles have gone by and not a one of them has been a bad mile. I honestly and truly think you, you could not make a better investment in 1982 than to buy one of these and keep it for the rest of your life. Something I decided I would do. Anyway, beautiful fall weather. Leaves are falling. It's a little bit chilly. Good to be all bundled up. Hope you did enjoy sharing this little slice of our life with us. Now, I even remember when this bike was brand new, the first maybe thousand miles I had on it, I just, I just totally fell in love with it. And I decided then that I was never going to sell it. And actually, over the years, I did have one serious person, Andy Lee, really make me an offer I couldn't refuse. And I refused. <laughs> and what he happened, he went out and bought another GS. So, and I think that's the same GS that Aaron owns now, but I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. But anyway, the way it played out, over the years, this bike has grown on me. It's gotten better and better. I enjoy it right now more than I ever did. And just going out to the garage and turning the key, it just, it just makes a beautiful day like we just had even better. Now, I hope you did enjoy the video. I enjoy editing them. And thanks for watching.